please don't charge me a billion dollars just to put my government's flag on a spacecraft. That's what we're doing. We are doing the opposite of that. Hi, we're here today at DSCI 2025 and we're at Project Kuiper's booth, which is the LEO satellite network from Amazon. And I'm sitting here today with Don Brown, who is the head of international government for Project Kuiper. Hi, Don. Hi, Alex. I understand that there's a lot of talk about sovereign systems when we're speaking about satellite communications and satellite systems. Could you explain to me a little bit more about why that is? That's a great question, Alex. Sovereignty in space has traditionally meant owning and operating your space assets. What has happened is that as commercial networks become more capable, those networks offer a level of control, and it doesn't mean necessarily controlling the spacecraft. It really means controlling data within the network. And the network is the key in this generation to sovereignty. And so when you build a network as sophisticated and powerful as Kuiper's, it's finding what is really important within that network to give governments the things they truly need. So how do you do that? Ah, by partnering very closely with governments and their commercial partners to move data securely in a network in a way that's meaningful to them, to give them the control that's meaningful as opposed to saying, I own the spacecraft and therefore that is sovereignty. One of, one of my customers said something tremendous. Uh, that particular customer uh, was a very senior government official uh, in Europe said, please don't charge me a billion dollars just to put my government's flag on a spacecraft. That's what we're doing. We are doing the opposite of that. So, satellite communications always been critical, getting even more critical today. So how is this shifting the way that governments think about satellite communications and how does Project Kuiper fit in this? So traditionally, there's been a mix between government-owned and operated satellites and an increasingly capable commercial satellite industry. Kuiper is the next generation of that, frankly. When I started in the business doing geosynchronous satellites, there, were, there was a belief among governments that they really needed to have their owned and operated spacecraft to do sovereign systems. The capability of new LEO systems like Kuiper's bring such extraordinary security, throughput, capability, and frankly, technological advancement at speed that it's become very attractive, I think, to governments to use these kind of systems more and more. So it is my understanding that a LEO network also brings agility, speed, it's easier to deploy. But I think if we're talking about government communications, we also need to balance this with security and sovereignty. So how do you balance the act between agility, speed, and security and sovereignty? Ah, great question, Alex. So it, it is partly due to the fact that Amazon Kuiper was built for security. There is so much in the architecture and the design of Amazon Kuiper that we're able to provide very high levels of secure communications through a commercial system. And frankly, that takes some of the learnings from AWS, from other Amazon systems, from our customers, frankly, who ha desire tremendous levels of security, which we've replicated in the Kuiper network. Okay, so secure, agile systems. Now, looking at the future, uh, is there anything in particular that excites you about where all of this is going? 
we are at the early day, days of learning how you're going to use Kuiper for governments around the world. And the thing that excites us the most is creating new applications for Kuiper just for our government users to really delight them in ways that they've never seen before in terms of commercial SATCOM capability. It is a multi-billion dollar investment by Amazon. That investment is a tool for governments to mold into the communication systems that meet their needs in an age of ubiquitous information requirements, artificial intelligence, tremendous amounts of collection of intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance data, sifting through the human SIGINT, all of those things, there's an immense amount of collecting. It is sifting through those petabytes and petabytes of information to find what is actionable. And Kuiper is incredibly important as information is collected all over the world by governments, moving that information at great volume and great speed to determine the actionable information is very critical. Okay, I think that's a great quote to end here for today. It was a pleasure, as always, to speak with you, Don, and uh, I wish you a fantastic DSEI. Merci. Thank you. De rien.